Media Lakes Media. You know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up. Hey, what's up? What's going on? To give you a little bit of that. Little bit of that. Little bit of that. So what's going on? We got Halfords. Halfords uh joins the right to rescue online retailer Wiggle. What's going on? Let's get into it. Let's read about how they're trying to save these guys. So I gotta yo feeling nice, man. <laughs> oh so I'm getting ready for a little meeting that we got coming up. So you check it out. We got the logo on the t-shirt so this is the business shirt we're trying to keep it professional professional to professional to professional so anyway let's get into this story let's uh, headline again help for joins it to rescue online retailer wiggle help is a massive company massive company they may not uh you know deliver the greatest uh quality and bikes and whatnot but they are a massive company. So let's get into it. Health with the high street bicycles chain is, is joining a peloton of uh, suitors for the stricken online retailer Wiggle. Sky News understands that Health with, which has a marked uh, capitalization of just over 500 million, has registered its interest in a bid for Wiggle CRC, which fell into administration last month. However, will be pitted against Fraser's group the owner of Sports Direct and Evan Cycles, which is also among the bidders. Nax is also said to have have had no oh Nax has Nax is also said to have been considering a bid, although spokesperson for the company denied on Thursday that it was interested. Halfords has already stepped in to honor our warranties and products brought from Wiggle and Chain Reaction. The London listed company, the London listed company chief executive Graham Stapleton said, "We don't want anyone to be left without working parts or accessories th through no fault of their own, or to find that they have paid in advance for a service that ca they can no longer benefit from." The cycle market is fundamentally sound and is ahead of where it was in 2019, but the extraordinary uh, disorientation caused by the pandemic. And the volatility of the past three years has uh, resulted in the, close, the, yeah, the closure of many independent bike shops. And now we are seeing large online retailers calling time to. The collapse company, which includes Wiggles Chain Reaction and uh, Vitus, a uh, nuke proof cycling brand, became uh, insolvent after losing the financial support of parent company Sig is that Cigna? Cigna Sports Unlimited. Wiggle CRC employs about 450 people and it has continued to trade during the administration, proce administration process. FRP Advisory is handling the insolvency process. However, declined to comment on its interest in acquisition of Wiggle CRC. So, it looks like Wiggle CRC is getting some type of lifeline, which is going to be good for the business because, like I said, it's 450 people that are going to be out looking for jobs and that's a lot of people so if Halfords is doing something to step in to help make sure these people are these uh persons are still got some viable income and you know we're coming up to christmas so that's a big occasion for a lot of people they got families and they got kids and uh everybody wants to keep everybody happy you know you got rent to pay bills to pay and all of that stuff Halfords Halfords has the they have the, the means so i can see them doing this move it was it's crazy because halford is such a big company that they were able to open up a chain of what maybe i don't know 60 70 80 stores across london i think there are a couple of the republics there but a lot of them closed a lot of them like they tried to because what happened with halford is because they do like a real department store type bike and then a lot of People who buy bikes from them, like say how you know crap the service is or crap the bikes is, but it's it's not their bikes are not supposed to be like high quality. The bikes are there to basically cater to those persons who don't have a lot of money. They just want a bike to get from A and B, and they don't want the high performance bike because you go to the nicer bike stores, like the the Wiggles and the the Evans, and and the average person can't afford the the bike. So Halford steps in with a bike where you know everybody can afford and um 
Yeah, and then you get people people who started complaining about these cheap bikes. So what they did to counter that, I mean, uh, Halford opened up a thing called Cycle Republic. Now, Cycle Republic was supposed to be a, you know, competitive with the nicer bike shop. So selling nicer bikes, but still under the Halford's brand. And like we have one that's just down the, just down, like uh, like about probably like a half a mile away from me that opened up. Looked like it was doing good in a good location, and um, it's closed now. It's empty, and it's looking for a new, new uh, someone, new new business to call it home. So that's that part. So Halford, like that, all of that long-winded bit was to say Halford has the money and the finance to to be able to have the current crop of stores that, like that Halford brand and model doesn't seem like it's gonna die. It seems like it's gonna be. It's going to be fine for 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 as long as as long as, but the stores, the Republic stores, opened up and uh, some of them quickly shut down. And I think it maybe you wanted to open if any at all. And but I've noticed I've 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 like I've noticed them. I don't know if Halfords is is uh, necessarily going through anything, but I did notice the Halfords that is nearest to me that they were. They, they have shortened hours, like the opening hours, and it's like it's not been like uh, printed or like, so you go on Google and it says the store opens and closes at this this time. And I went there this particular day and it's like, no, we're closing at six. Yeah, we close at six now. So I don't know if it's due to, because that store where, where it's located, it doesn't get the business like it should do. But yeah, some of the stores, the health food stores, I, I, I don't know of any health food stores that have closed. But I know that some of the health food stores, they are shortening the hours. They have cut down on the staff and all of that good stuff. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think it's a good thing that uh, health food is stepping in to, you know, because I think for them, this is what I'm seeing it as is because Wiggles got a, a lot of stock, a lot of, you know, product. And basically, health food is just stepping in just to get a hold of that product because they're now, you know, like the company's going into solvency. And it's like if they're going in there, they're, they're basically going to get all, you know, anything that Regal has, like at pennies on the dollar. So they'll they'll still make a profit, you know, at the end of it anyway. So that's 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 just my opinion. That's just what I see. So they're going to go in there. It's like going into like an auction, like, you know, so you, you get what you bid what and then people you know that at the end of the day like we could just want to be able to pay their bills or pay whatever's owed and just, just keep keep things afloat so we'll see whoever gets it uh evans is a pretty strong company as well uh not as big as halfords but they're pretty strong and uh, we'll see what happens and we we'll see who gets it we'll just keep a keep an eye on this space and see what like I said, keep keep eye on this space and see what happens. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. This has been Ennis Luby, Save With Your Legs Media, just trying to keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the cycling world. And now uh, we will see you in Dublin. Uh, in, uh, so next weekend, we will be from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be uh, reporting from like just going live and, and uh, stuff from Dublin, just, you know, just doing lots of stuff from Dublin. So we're going to be at the Cyclocross World, World Cup. And yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be no Matthew Matthew Vanderpool, and no, uh, I'm not sure if Tom Pickup, no th- Tom Pickup's not going to be there, and no uh, Walt Grenard. So the big boys aren't going to be there. I'm I'm not sure if uh, any of the big name female writers are going to be there as well. So, but if Buck Peter C and uh, uh, Van Empel is there, that's going to be pretty cool to see. So if uh, that'll be cool if all four of them. So yeah, Buck Peter C, uh, uh, Van Empel. And then you have uh, Salindale, uh, Carmen Alvarado, and uh, Lucinda Brand, who's just coming back. So if all of those ladies are there for Dublin, it's going to make for a good race. But we'll see. But the men's race, you know, Ali Isby and, and um, uh, uh, Schwack and and uh, Cameron Mason from the UK. So it, it should be a good it should be a good race. It should be a good race. Uh, Thibaut Nice, hopefully he's back on form and everything is going OK. Anyway, like I said, uh, that's about it. Try to give you uh, some roundabout what's going on. That's Halfords. Hopefully they save Wiggle and uh, everybody's happy and Christmas comes and uh, people are not disappointed. 
anyway like the jacket you like it let me see <laughs> anyway jacket the hat and uh i was thinking about putting a brown tie or maybe an orange tie on or what you think tell me what you think leave a comment let me know what you think and uh, we will see you on the next one Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.